Ladies and gentlemen, this is a professional lightweight contest scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Introducing first in the blue corner, he has a record of one win, no losses. Representing Four Corners Gym, Danny Tyler! His opponent across the cage in the red corner, making his professional debut with representing the MMA Academy, Liverpool, Connor Hughes. Your referee in charge, Mr. Simon Stadnicki. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this pro lightweight contest. Looking forward to Connor Hughes fighting out of the MMA Academy, Liverpool, in the black shorts in the red corner as he takes on Four Corners MMA's Danny Tyler wearing the black and yellow Venom. 1-0 for Tyler. Hughes making his pro debut. Both fighters stand 5 foot 11 at 155 pounds. These are big lightweight fighters. Certainly big lightweight fighters. And also, what fantastic talent. Connor Hughes now making his professional debut, stepping out of those out. Oh, he's caught with the right hand. Oh. Wow, the timing on that step. Away right hand, phenomenal stuff. But he's brought up. Hey, got him. Got to stay composed. This Connor Hughes. Yeah, he's going up against Danny Tyler, and you got. Jack. Oh, he's oh, taking shots. shots. Those are big, big shots. Turning over, referee looking close. Are we going to have a TKO finish here? Connor Hughes looking to start with a bang in these professional rankings. Caught him with a, a lovely step away hook. Followed it up now in full mount here. Yeah, looking to drop them elbows in. Great composure shown by Danny Tyler, though, to survive uh, that uh, onslaught. Yeah, we're looking his corner. You got there, Jack Grant. That, if you're going to uh, be grappling with anyone, will be under this big press. Oh, that's another big shot. I think he's cut as well now. On the back now as well. Danny Tyler. Danny Tyler has has not been able to get out of the blocks. Connor Hughes has just set the pace, the tempo. Well, it was the striking to start with. It was that range stepping away, that hook that caused the trouble to start with. And when you look back at his pedigree, he's a, a freestyle karate, kickboxing world, European, 14 times British champion. And then you put on top of that his uncle and his mum, both Waco pros. Yeah, he's going to like the strand. And, and here's the frightening thing. Look how he's transitioning with the grappling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been striking since I was three. Yeah, but you've got Jason Tan in your corner. What, what a mind, what a phenomenal character and wealth of knowledge, an absolute wealth of knowledge, particularly in the grappling area. Nice. Oh, oh! and he sleeps him! Oh, my oh, goodness! It's over! What a knockout! Connor Hughes! Him. The right hook finishes the job. Stunning stuff. And he's still out. That is absolutely a plum knockout. On our feet here, everybody. And it's again, it was on the back foot. He timed that right hook. Beautiful, beautiful performance there. I love the show of respect now, the waiting. That's lovely, not... Hey, listen, not he, comes, he comes from a martial arts heritage. It's all about respect. Every contact I've had with him has been... A pleasure. He really is somebody that embodies the spirit of martial arts, and this is part of it. Respect, humbleness. Absolutely. I love to see that. I absolutely love to see that in a sport where this happens to people. Yeah, there's the excitement of climbing up onto the cage, but this, this is sportsmanship. And he's getting medical attention here, looked after by our medics here at UK Fighting Championship. Oh, he... he he, he was he, he was dropped heavy. Good to see him sitting up, Smile smiling. On his face. What a star! Wow! Well, welcome to the pro ranks, Connor Hughes. Want to know? And I can't imagine there are going to be many lightweights early in their pro careers that want to step into that cage. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee calls a stop to the action at two minutes and four seconds of the very first round. Your winner by way of knockout, Connor Hughes!
I'm standing here with the winner, Connor Hughes, and as far as pro debuts go, could this have gone any better? You know what, mate? Jason texted me this morning and said, uh, you ready to make a statement? And you know what? I've grafted me fucking ass off for months and months and months. You know, my amateur career, I fought all the best amateurs I got my hand on. Won some, lost some, but every fight I've learned, every fight I've got better. And this is only the start, mate, I'm telling you. I'm going all the way up, all the way up, I'm telling you. I, I gotta ask the question because I can't imagine there are gonna be many lightweights starting their pro career who want to get in the cage with you. What do you want next? Is there someone you want? Call them out. I've already, I've already got a fight. Um, September, I've got someone else. So, you know, keep the ball rolling. Keep fights going. I don't care who I fight. I don't care who, who stands in front of me. Like Danny, yeah. Jiu-Jitsu black belt, absolute nightmare for me apparently on paper. But you know, I don't care who I fight, but September, December, and it's just gonna keep on going. Before I let you go, I wanna talk you through that finish. You took the little step back, followed it through with a beautiful punch. Second time you'd caught him with that. Did you know what was coming? Look, I've done, I've done striking and kickboxing for years, like since I was about three years old. My mum, my granddad, and my uncle David there, they taught me from an early, early age. So I've been doing this since I was walking. So when it comes to striking, I believe I can strike with anyone. So yeah, whoever wants it, he can get it. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. I am sure we're gonna be hearing more and more about this young man, Connor Hughes.